the Lakers can't shoot. The Clippers have disappointment in their DNA. The Rams are the biggest joke in football, and nobody's even aware that the Chargers are coming to town. Well, a town called Carson that's somewhere in this galaxy of freeways and shopping malls. So the state of sports in Los Angeles is what? Feeble, pitiful, irrelevant. It certainly has felt that way over the past few years, but looks, especially in L.A., can be deceiving. The Lakers stink, but careful, haters. Not for long. D'Angelo Russell dropped 40 on the Cavs the other night. Luke Walton just moved him off ball. And Magic Johnson is going to start his run as the head guy with a top three pick, likely, in a loaded draft with ball-distributed distributing point guards. So what's better than one six foot five ball handler and passer with the ability to score and the instinct to share? Two of those guys, and the Lakers are about to get them. The Dodgers are really the other legacy professional team here, and they only boast the best starting pitcher in generations in Clayton Kershaw. Seems like a long time ago. But it was the Dodgers who were the National League's last best hope against the onslaught of Cubs mania, and they still are. The Dodgers are built well and built to last. But that's not all. If you know L.A., you know this is a huge college sports town, and there's one true sports fault line running through this megalopolis, USC versus UCLA. UCLA is supposed to make basketball headlines, USC football. And you know what? The Bruins have the best college basketball player in the country and the chance to go to the Elite Eight and beyond. USC has next year's Heisman Trophy winner, Sam Darnold, don't forget, at quarterback. L.A. is a big city of dreams, and everything in L.A. is not always what it seems. But things are about to get really, really good out here. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go... Hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.